Hi everyone, I'm Trevor with North Valley Search and Rescue. Today we're going to explore another video in our Rope Rescue series. As always, this video is for use in conjunction with professional training for North Valley Search and Rescue within the scope of our SOPs utilizing our equipment. This video is not a comprehensive training package, but rather a small component of training and should be used under the guidance of a qualified professional trainer. There are many methodologies and avenues to achieve a desired outcome, but paired or performed incorrectly can result in injury or death. All ratings discussed are with new, fully rated equipment under perfect conditions, which never happens. Used equipment, time, UV exposure, use, application, or any other condition or alteration will change the load capacity. All ratings discussed are approximations and are simplified for your basic understanding purposes only, not to calculate the actual loads or forces. We are glad that you're here with us today and for a quick reference back to this video and others of ours, please click on the red subscribe button below or just below that, the add to button and create your own playlist. Might I suggest naming one SAR. So let's kick into today's video. In this video, we're going to set up a litter to haul on a low angle system. This is for low angle setup only, not for high angle rescue. And the second part is that we're going to connect haul lines to the litter with a bridle that we're going to tie. For this, we need a couple of tools. The first one being a 14 foot section of webbing. It can be longer than that, but it can't be shorter than that. The second one is we need our two ropes, our main and our belay that we're going to run in. And those need to be tied with a figure eight on a bite with our long tails to be able to reach our attendants and our patient. And then the last thing that we're going to need are two carabiners. These do not need to be 40 kilonewton carabiners. They can be 25 kilonewton carabiners. To tie a bridle, we have five steps that we're going to complete. The first one is we're going to take our webbing and wrap it through the three holes at the head of the litter. Like a boa constrictor goes around its prey, wrap it around tight. On that last wrap, we're going to then do step two, which is to tie a water knot. So I'm going to tie an overhand knot here, make sure that I have at least a four inch tail, which requires me to grab the other end of the webbing and complete the loop with again a four inch tail coming out of this side. It can be longer, but it cannot be shorter. So I've tied my water knot. I made sure that I have a palm width of tail on each side, which is a criteria for it. And then I'm going to move on to step number three, which is pull all of my strands that are facing me. So I've got one on this side, I've got this second one, and this third one. And when I pull all of these, I'm trying to equalize them out in front, keeping this knot near the litter. So you can see that it's right near the litter and I pulled these out and equalized these. Once I've equalized them, I have to equalize them at the point that the knot is going to be tied, not the point out here. And if you notice, this strand is rather loose. So I'm going to take all three of these loops that I have out here and I'm going to pull them and wiggle them until all of these are approximately the same tension which will help to equalize out all of the pressure between all of the strands. Then I take this and we're going to tie a frost knot. And all a frost knot is is a glorified term for an overhand knot. That just keeps all of these together and in the order that I want them to be. So I pull that together and this is my frost knot connecting my bridle to my litter. And I can pinch on each of these and there's approximate equal tension on each and you'll notice that the water knot is not tied up in the litter. However, it is just out of the way of all of my knots. So once I have this set, I can go ahead and take a carabiner and clip it in through all three of these and then I can take a second carabiner and clip it in through all three of those strands take my two ropes that I have, clip them through both, lock my carabiners. These happen to be opposite and opposed. So 
I have two carabiners connecting two ropes with long tails to my bridle, to my litter for a low angle setup. Let's look at strength rating real quick. So if webbing is new, we have each strand is rated at 18 kilonewtons. I have one, two, three, four, five, six strands that are connected to the litter. Therefore, six times 18 kilonewtons gives me 108 kilonewtons of strength for this. However, I did tie two knots in this, and the limiting knot is this water knot. It's the smallest knot, and it's going to reduce the strength rating of brand new webbing by approximately 40%. So therefore, this entire setup is rated at approximately 64 kilonewtons brand new. There's a couple of key factors in that. One, again, that my water knot has at least four inch tails and that this angle of the outside strands is at or less than 90 degrees. So that gives me my setup for my low angle bridle. We hope this video was helpful in understanding this component of our rope rescue system. Thank you all for watching the video. Remember to subscribe below to have quick and easy access to all of our videos. We look forward to seeing you in class and out in the field.